to, uh, to explain the core of our artificial intelligence. So the core is neural networks. Neural networks that we have been training offline in Ghent based on a database of millions of pictures. And we have been training that system and that software now that has been trained for more than a year is now inside our 8 to 5 TVs. And how did we train that system? We trained that system to classify the content into different categories. Nature, face, motion, dark, and if it's not one of those, because we don't throw it away, it's other. So the neural network thing, together with the third generation P5, makes now our fourth generation P5 engine with artificial intelligence. And that engine is perfecting again the five pillars, source perfection, sharpness, color, contrast, and motion from P5 engine. So AI is not now bringing us to a P6 processor. We stick to our five pillars of P5, but AI will do it in a much more sophisticated way. So AI is not about bringing now again more sharpness and more color and more contrast. It's about bringing more realistic picture. A picture so real, you could really step right into it. That's the, the, uh, the promise of AI, and that's what we're trying to achieve. So compared to our vivid mode, of uh, the past, AI will be as vivid, will not be less, but also not be more. And in many cases, when you look over a longer period, it will, you will see it as more realistic. Okay, so let me demonstrate to you uh, this AI. Before I show you, this is our P5 AI picture. And that one there, so that is 65 inch, and what I did forget to mention is that we will launch P the AI in uh, three different modes. Um, the uh, 805, 865, and 855. The 865 is actually uh, right. Before I show you on both TVs and how AI really works, this one, as I mentioned, is on this P5 AI. The right one is on another mode. The other one is on movie mode at this moment. There was an announcement at CES about filmmaker mode. We are part of that announcement. We will do film filmmaker mode. Not yet inside those TVs. It will come later in the year. Um, but to give you a feel, this is actually how filmmaker mode looks like. This is how P5 AI looks like. This is how indeed uh, Hollywood likes to have it, and we will support that. I have nothing against that. As we have the day movie mode in our TVs, we will add to our long list of picture modes also the filmmaker mode, which is uh, basically, uh, as we can see here, This is our long list of picture modes, and it's in movies, so we will add for my mode there. But for demo purposes now, and for the launch of AI, I uh, put this TV now also in AI mode. So both TVs are now in AI. Of course, not a lot to be to see. Uh, <coughs> only if I do it like that, uh, we 
now the demo screen to show you really AI is doing something. And this is our demo screen. I'm going to switch it on here. Okay. What you have is a split screen picture with a overlay of showing the intelligence of AI. So basically you have the split screen left side original and the right hand side uh, the AI picture. We have the analyzers of the picture. We have the five elements of P5, contrast, color, sharpness, motion, and artifacts. And then we have the whole new AI part, content classification. So you see here, like scene, uh, nature scene, like faces, like motion, dark, and if it's not one of those, then it's other. And the chip constantly uh, working to improve that. Now, let me show you a few other clips because you might think, for instance, like here, noise is broken. It's not uh, because this is a very beautiful, high quality clip. If I go to this picture, you know, this picture is a very noisy picture. I used it last year. Now you see the noise meter is, uh, is uh, really showing that it has to do sort of perfection. You see also now in this new AI stuff, dark, you see this picture looks like indeed like a nature scene. There's a bit of motion in there like the small cars driving there. And, so you see also the uh, overlay go is uh, disappearing also uh, and coming back to avoid burning. And you see that this one I didn't mention about that is now also indicating something. Now, what is he indicating? It's indicating logos. You know, all it being very sensitive to logo, to burning, we are doing something special here. And I'll show you what we're doing. So, also this one, you haven't seen at this moment yet, dark. So again, let me show you another clip. A dark clip, see dark coming up. Majority also face, so face is uh, indicated. There's a bit of motion in the back, so there's motion. So really, um, it classifies into those different categories. AI is really working very fast. Okay, now this is all going to happen in 2020, first half. And core, as I said, is P5 processor with AI with the claim. It's now really real. And now I would like to also still share something with you about uh, the future. I want to show you is something I already shown to you at uh, IFA, which is uh, our AK uh, product and with P5 processing behind, which is uh, ready to launch, but we haven't decided yet on a moment uh, when to launch. Because we feel the market isn't ready at this moment for it. If we get signs, the market is ready for it. We will come. I wanted to reassure you that we have AK, we're ready with AK, but as those products in big screen sizes are also very expensive, we need to be sure the market wants to have it. Okay, but besides AK, which we have been working hard on, there is other stuff we have been working on. The 
first one I want to show you, there's a couple of new things going to come, is Source Perfection 2.0. At next level Source Perfection. If you look to this crappy UK con uh, YouTube content, you see that there is a lot of banning there. And actually, we're capable of finding that banning. Everything which is blue in the screen, and look again later to the clip, which is gorgeous in quality, we will not touch, and which is essential for the picture. Everything which is red and yellow is, is problem areas, and we are going to uh, do something there to get the picture better. So you see the problem again. This is our next level source perfection, which should solve now a lot more moisturization, uh, moisturization uh, than, uh, than before. Other example, look to the sky here. It's full of uh, banning, also quite severe, maybe not as severe as in the first clip. But you see how uh, good it is. Also here again, the heat map showing you the mountain we will not touch. That's the centerpiece of this picture that's with the sharpness you want to keep that but the sky was full of crap and this is where you uh, want a uh, solution to work on and so you see the picture again with the problem still problem 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 show you a little bit faster a couple of times. This is one of our upcoming innovations for later in the year. Now there's one more that we are working on. And I showed you already we can detect logos. I will show you actually really how we building it up. This is a advertising channel in Belgium with a huge banner there, which is of course heating up your display a lot, causing burning. If you watch it all day, uh, all year. You see that the TV is detecting the, the static part, the logo, uh, while the rest of the picture has not uh, uh, been detected. Now we've frozen the picture, and now we're gonna show you in the banner the reduction of brightness of uh, light to avoid burning. We know we have destroyed many OLEDs in Ghent to, to find the right optimum level of reduction in, uh, in light to avoid burning. We know that what we're showing you here, that little bit of reduction, is enough to solve 95% of the burning problem. It toggles now between on off. In the real product, it will, of course, go gradually uh, uh, when it does its reduction, that it is becoming unvisible. We can do more than uh, only that logo. This is another example of uh, a channel with logo in the bottom, logo in the top. Again, you see accurately we can uh, detect that logo. It takes always like uh, a couple of seconds, going from five, 10, 15 seconds. No big deal. I mean, uh, in 15 seconds you don't have burning, but it would be a mistake to decide too fast on, okay, this is a logo, where it's not. So we take our time. And uh, once we found it, here again, it toggles really uh, on off. But uh, as I said, in the real product, it's going to go uh, smoothly. And also when it moves the picture again, really, and then doing even toggle is uh, hardly detectable. 
So this is one of the other things we, uh, we know. All that beacon is, is burning, and uh, if we want to be the best with all that on everything, this is something we need to solve. And this is uh, something we have been working on. Again, this is going to come later in the year. And then, once we have a full solution here, we uh, probably can do something like backwards into the ethernet. Will the user be able to to choose the level of dimming? You will not be able to choose the level because the user isn't as smart as we are to know how much he needs to do. Okay. We we have, as I said, through our analysis, our work, we know how much you need to reduce. If the user would not like that, he can switch the switch off. Okay. But I don't think he will. But for instance, you will have this option of switching off because I can imagine um, in shops, to name one, like Media Mart, they have their own uh, content with their logos on there. Uh, when then uh, our TV would detect that logo and reduce the brightness, then we might look stupid uh, in that row uh, with a, a lower intensity on the logo. When the salespeople would like to have hours at the, at the maximum level, just like the others, we will be able to switch it. Mm. Feature will always be switch, mm. not churn, not uh, How long did you say that it needed to analyze the logo? Did you say a few seconds or a few minutes? Or no, a few seconds. Few uh, seconds. Uh, right, uh, right. Up to fifteen, maybe twenty max. Uh, okay, second. You saw like it was building up here, so I think. Okay. Okay, that is my presentation. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Questions? Are you taking questions? Yeah, I'm taking questions. If we have time, uh, when is the next uh, group? Uh, uh, so when, shoot. I think we have What's the status of HDMI 2.1 on your 805, 855, and 865? HDMI 2.1 will not come. Right. So the only feature is still like last year, ALM. Yeah. Let's face it, HDMI 2.1 benefit would be VRR. Yes. Um, not a lot of uh, sources now or uh, equipment that you will get benefit from that. Probably at the end of this year, more will come. Now our 21 range will be ready. And you said that the filmmaker will, will be firmware updated on the 805. And well, we need to, uh, we, we committed to do filmmaker mode, definitely in 21. We're still now uh, looking how we can squeeze it in later in the year, and then it's going to come with a problem. Okay. Yes. Right. Because it's just another picture mode with a little bit more sophistication, but majority is another picture mode. And obviously you showed off the 88 inch, but what about 48 inch and 77 inch models? Are you planning to do that? Yeah. Okay. Is that our plan? Mm -hmm. Not now. Okay, thank you. Thanks.